Partnership it has really come about because of a duty that's placed on local government to come up with a community strategy. And um, part of that duty is that the strategy has to be developed, um, not only with other partner agencies but also with communities. And the partnership and um, the Carmarthenshire partnership is a collective of of all kinds of partnerships and forums and networks have really been pulled together to take forward community planning. But there's numerous networks and of course the other new network that we're going to be setting up are the community networks to make sure that we have proper engagement with local people, with local communities and also bring together maybe people that haven't worked together before in that we, there will be community representatives, be partner organisation, town and community uh, council members, council members um, and it's about bringing them all together in a very informal way um, but also in a way that they can take responsibility for the ongoing monitoring and development of the, the local plans. My name's David Groom. I'm retired, I live in Gwynobly, but I work here in the post office and the shop. My, my involvement with the project has been fairly close right from the start. When Peter and Barbara, who owned the shop, first decided they couldn't make a living out of it anymore and wanted to get out of the shopkeeping bit, they offered it to the community association. And uh, I spoke at the first meeting to try and persuade people that we could run it on a volunteer basis. I have an advantage in that I was originally brought up in a village shop in my young days across in East Anglia. And it hasn't changed that much, even though it's 60 years. <laughs> my name's Kelly Biner thomas I'm a volunteer here twice a week. I think it's important to have a post office here because the older people can't actually get into town. And because we're so far away, we need the post office, and so I'd be happy to take it on. <laughs> My name's Jim King, and as a director of the company, obviously I have a certain say in some of the decisions that get made, but also my main job is to do the cashing up of the till every evening. It's clear from the comments made by regular customers that the, the position of the shop in the village is a valuable one, in that uh, it is a, a centre for news, gossip, if you like, clonk, and, uh, and it is considerably useful because we're now open all day. A lot of people come in, say, late in the evening, between five and six on their way home from work to grab that bottle of wine they wish they'd bought in town, and it's quite clear that we're obviously, we are uh, offering a good and useful service to the village. The scheme has been operating for less than a year. Despite that, we've been really encouraged by the number of communities who've approached us for help, and we've already uh, utilised most of our budget that is drawing in consultants that will talk to the communities and put together a plan as to how they are going to achieve what they want to set out and do. Um, we've also helped with a lot of capital projects as well. So we are very encouraged by the fact that communities are clearly want to help themselves, and with the enticement of some government funding, some European funding, they are able to do just that, to put things in place. Brecfor in particular is a really good example 
example of how you can overturn, overturn the fortunes of a village. Had they lost that shop, I'm very aware of the fact that a lot of elderly people would have had to, would have been unable to perhaps get their pensions, would have been reliant upon relatives, they would have been all the travelling into Kamalashe Tlandilo. By retaining that facility in the village, not only is it helping the village to keep together, but it is absolutely vital, uh, a vital service to those who are housebound, to the elderly, often to people who are not working and who are resident in the village.